You guys are very well dressed today. I've so everything I know from him. Really? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. I don't know about that, but I'll take the props, you know. <laughs> So, uh, Preachers of LA, we got to know you guys and your families last season. Tell us what we can expect for season two. Well, you got to know our immediate families yes. last season. A little bit about us, so the characters were established, but this season, you're going to see our family at large. Yeah. And everyone has a few family members that are a little challenged, to say the least. If you don't have a challenged family member, then you are the challenged family member. Yeah, That's absolutely. my if, Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and so you're definitely not ready for that. I mean, there's some personal issues that we wrestle through. Uh, more specifically, yeah. um, some police were called, restraining orders filed. Police were called. And you have you? to you have to watch season two to see if any fists were thrown. Okay. Uh-oh. That is a tease. Hey. That is a tease. Um, so I heard you guys talking about how hot your wives are. Hashtag blessed. Hey, hashtag blessed. double blessed. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, the, the wonderful thing about my wife, and I, and I know all these guys would say the same thing, you know, we're thankful for the outer appearance, but our ladies are more beautiful yeah. on the inside than they are the outside. Their character, their heart. Their commitment to stand with us to yeah. help us do what we do and it's not just us doing the thing and them back here serving us I mean they're shoulder to shoulder with us they're they're walking side by side with us and we got some incredible ladies uh, to do life with That's yeah what advice do you have for single men out there who are looking to find the one well well for, for me I would say you know the insides more important than the outside okay. Uh, I would put character over appearance any day. Yeah. It's nice when they both line up, but if you had to choose between the two, you know, the Bible says outer beauty perishes. Unfortunately, we're all going to get a little older. Yeah. Looks are going to change, but what's on the inside of a person really is what means something. Yeah. I would definitely say work on yourself. Develop equity in yourself yeah. uh, because I believe that once that happens, you attract the type of woman yeah. that would be beneficial for you in the long term. I think we spend so much time looking for the proper spouse as opposed to becoming mm. the mate that would attract that type yeah. of spouse. That's right. Know? That's good. So. And um, last question, do you guys have one piece of advice for married couples? Yes. Yeah? Keep I'm the, sure you have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. But definitely keep the love alive. You know, on season one, you saw my wife and I, and, uh, you know, we're extremely affectionate. We love one another, and we have a great love life. And I think we need to be unapologetic about that. You know, it, you know, we're Christians. We love the Lord. But I think society could use more examples of people who are trying to do it the right way, uh, but keep it hot. Yeah. <laughs> And I would say the one thing to keep your uh, your marriage alive and and being what it needs to be is that you got to roll up your sleeves and you just got to work on it. If you ever quit working on it, got to have date nights, got to keep on romancing your wife. You know what you did to get her. You need to keep doing even after you got her. So still bring the flowers, still bring the candy, still romance her, still surprise her. Those kind of things keep the spark alive. Preachers of LA, season two, where can people watch it? Wednesdays on Oxygen at 10, 9, Nine Central. Central. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Congratulations. You. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>